Hey guys, welcome back to Mark and Design. Today, let's learn how to simulate a thermal analysis on ANSYS. This question deals with heat transfer problems. There are two bricks, one made of silica brick that has T2 and T3 as the surface temperature and the other one is magnesia brick which has T4 and T5 as the surface temperature. The length of the brick is 10 cm. The K value of silica brick that is a first brick on the left hand side is 1.5 watt per meter Kelvin and the outer brick that is magnesia brick is 4.9 watt per meter Kelvin. The thickness as I told before that is the length that is 10 cm. The temperature of the inner surface is 820 degrees celsius and the outer surface is 110 degrees celsius between these two bricks there is a thermal contact resistance that is 0.001 meter square kelvin per watt which is between the two blocks that has a thickness of 1 millimeter let's go to file clear and start new do not read file okay yes Go to Preferences, Thermal, click on OK. Go to Preprocessor, Element Type, Add, Edit, Delete, click on Add, click on Link, 3D Conduction 33, OK. Click on Add for Convection, go to Convection 34, click on OK. Close it. Go to Real Constants, Add, Edit, Delete, Add it. Go to Element Number 1, Add the Properties. That is the area that is one click on ok go to the second one click, go to the yeah link 34 area is one click on ok close let's go to material properties material model go to thermal conductive isentropic the first k value is 1.5 okay the second k value is 1 so it's got a material another one first second k value is 1 okay let's go to material new mode new model 3 okay go to isotropic next one is 4.9 type 4.9 click okay material new model fourth one that is Convection or film coefficient is something about 35. Type in 35 over there. Okay. Close that. Go to modeling. Create nodes. Yeah. Inactive CS. The first one is the point zero zero zero. Click on apply. Second one is at 1 millimeter, that is nothing but 0 0.001. 0 0.001. Apply. Next one is at a 10 centimeter distance. Add that over there. 3 plus 0 0.1. Apply. 1 mm. Again, it's plus 4. It's 0 0.001. Okay. Apply. And the fifth one is a distance of 10 centimeters. So I add the 10 centimeters over there. There we go. Done. Apply. Sixth one is a distance of 1 millimeter. Sixth one. Add 0 0.001 to it. Okay. All done. Nodes are ready. Let's go to elements. Element attribute. The first one is convection. So let's go to link 2, link 34, 2, element type, then real constant 2, material is also 2, well, material is 4, material is 4, go to auto numbering through nodes 1 to 2, click OK, go to element attribute again, change it to 1, link 33, go to real constant 1 material 1 okay auto nodes through nodes 2 to 3 click on ok element attributes 
the same go to LM material 2 go to through nodes 3 to 4 go to third one okay through nodes 4 to 5 click on ok element attribute number 2 link 34 real constant number 2 4 material number through nodes 5 and 6 okay modeling then it's going to solution go to new analysis steady state it's okay go to define loads apply thermal temperature on nodes first node okay temperature 820 okay another node click on node the last one okay 110 okay go to solve current ls once it's done click on yes there we go now let's go to now let's go to general post processing list result nodal solution do solution nodal temperature okay there are nodal temperatures when you compare it with the theoretical value it's the same thing yes t2 t3 t4 t5 it's all similar close that let's go to element table define tool table add name it something t transfer by sequence number smi c1 apply okay close it go to element table first one okay you'll find the q values for everything that is the heat transfer value it's all the same for each and every element close that thanks for watching guys we will be back soon